What's up everyone, this is Jermaine from Jam Factor 5, and this is Walkthrough Part 5. Uh, so, I tried to do recording on uh, Planet Wisp uh, beforehand, but unfortunately, something bad happened with my Elgato, so I decided to restart it, um, which means more edit. Luckily though, I was playing this game way after Starlight Carnival and Sweet Mountain. So, <laughs> I got an opportunity to do a walkthrough on my save file that is on a different file. Who well, knew I was very lucky? This is Planet Wisp, uh, a place where the Wisps are actually at. And what we're going through is destroying everything in our path. We must protect the ecosystem! THE ENVIRONMENT IS ON ENVIRONMENT! Yeah. Um, like I always say, I'm not gonna go all the red star range, but, uh, if I find any in my path, then I'll just grab them. And this is a new power-up called Spike, which allows you to, well, um, as you can see here, cling onto the wall and well, do a spin dash and come on, pass me. Pass me. Work with me, pass me. Uh. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to get used to the control with the Wii controllers, so. Alright, pass me. Come on. Get. There we go. Alright. Just there you go. Anyways, um, yeah, which allows you to cling onto walls and do a spin dash. Kind of like how Song does it, except you can stick onto walls and do it instantly, and you stay in spike ball form. Honestly, why can't they give that spin dash to the Sonic kids? Oh, beyond me. But uh, I digress. Moving on. I hope everybody has a really good Christmas. And a very good Happy New Year. I know I did. But what I did on the New Year's was basically staying up all night. No, I'm serious. I stay up all night. All the way up to 8. And it is very tiring. I should probably go to bed after this. Anyways. Um. The Christmas time, it was kind of an interesting one, too. Or Hanukkah or holiday. Or whatever you celebrate, I'm just still going to call it Christmas. Because it is what I call it. Anyways, it's kind of interesting. What I got for Christmas is, well, the Gato, thanks to my dad and my mom. And what else I got was a Sonic hat, which I already have. A funny story, I might say. You see, I have a tendency of losing my items. Which includes sometimes my game system when I left that at my grandparents, or the hat. When I was very young, I always lose my hat, and I am very frustrated with that, as I always sometimes lose my things. So I was at my grandparents' spending time with my cousins, when all of a sudden I couldn't find my son's hat when I got home. I thought I left it at my house in my bedroom somewhere, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But unfortunately, it was in my grandparents' place, but I didn't know about it. That is, until Christmas Day. Before Christmas Day, however, I bought myself a new Sonic hat, because, well, I already did lost it, it's about time I should buy it again. And, sure enough, I should have not bought it, because if I just not buy my Sonic hat, went to my grandparents' house, and got them that present, I would not be instantly, well, I guess you could say, dumbfounded that it was on my grandparents. Unfortunately, I was more dumbfounded that I bought some two new Sonic hats. So, I got two Sonic hats for Christmas. All I want for Christmas is my two Sonic hats, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here is Act 2. Uh, what we're going through is, well, platforming. I am so tired of my past self. I don't want to argue, ladies. 
Um, but yeah, well, what else I got for Christmas is, uh, some white elephant presents that I got him. Uh, I've gotten some magic cards, which is called Black Box Illusion. I don't know much about these type of things. Oh, but apparently they're like, uh, illusion tricks with ma uh, cards. Card tricks, I suppose. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, also, I... If you haven't seen what on my YouTube channel lately, I also got in some Warheads from uh, Cleek Rasher, and of course, Bacon Cricket. Yeah, I'm don't want Bacon and Cheese Crickets to be exact. I don't want to talk about it. It's it just is. But. The Warhead Challenge, uh, you should check it out on my video. I kind of ate it all in one take. Well, more likely two uh, videos. The first one I did, and without um, making any effort, well, the second one I decided I'd like, do a five minute break before I continue on. I'm not being a pansy or a chicken or a baby up or anything. Do I hit the wall. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So I'm deciding to do like this um uh narration while watching over my walker and kinda of tell you the truth, I think it's a much more better idea than having to do it live. Cause it's hard. I mean you're trying to make a conversation while um, let's just say making a walkthrough by playing video games. It is that hard. So I decided not to do it. Oh yeah, I cut that out a little bit. Here's the level I really despise of. After you pass this section here... Um, one moment. Oh. There is the usage of blue wisp called cube. I despise the cube wisp. For well, one good reason is that they're implemented to be platform. And again, I can control Sonic when I'm running fast. In 2D and 3D. Well sometimes. But when it comes with platforming, that is the skill I need to master. I don't know, or I have no idea how to control them because I keep on dying on platforms and messing things up along the path. So I guess platforming is my greatest weakness on this one. I don't know, or Sonic is just moving way too fast, I can even control him. As you can see there. That happened to me. I'm not really fond of that. <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. I probably should edit those bits out, but I couldn't help it if I wanted to arrive and to make it out there alive. And I think I did on this part. Hopefully. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Next part, I mean. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Alright, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so what I did on New Year's Eve, however, is I stayed stay up all night long at the Overnighter with my friends, Toe Jam and <laughs> many others at the Airsoft group. It's a really good, it's really awesome. We just play games, play laser tag, and, well, not laser tag. Well, yeah, laser tank, I suppose. Ooh, but I was being a little bit too careless. Alright. Anyways. It was a mighty fun time. Mighty fun time. Unfortunately, my throat sounds a little bit scratchy because I stood up and I didn't take a nap. I probably should right after this uh, conversation. Sure. Oh, well. 
What can you do? And then, oh yes, I got the light. After three of them, I lost. Alright. Here's what? Four? Four? <laughs> Alright. I think this is a rail grinding? No, that's not rail grinding. I, I think it's the other one. Oh, uh, this part. I think I remember that this part. Um, isn't this the part where... Yeah, I kinda have to draw issues with the stick. It has eight directions, and I can't control- Oh, this is the part I- Alright. This is the most easiest level of them all, if you do it correctly. There's a sound chance you'll be able to skip this level with ease. Unfortunately, however... Um... <clears throat> there is a problem with... Plot the main objects and move! Joy! Uh, I, don't <laughs> I mean, platforming is fine and all in Sonic Generations, but colors uh, need a little work. But after you do that part, you use Rocket, Rocket. and Blast Off! Team Rocket's blasting up again, I suppose! Yo, yeah, boy! Alright, and go in. Yes, that quick, honestly. That's the main rank on that. <laughs> That's awesome. I think there is a cutscene after this, so stop talking for a few minutes. You know, as alien as this place is. There's something very Eggman-ish about it. I think he's transforming it somehow, making it part of his theme park. Attention guests! If you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area still under renovation. If you are not a robot, please return to the main park areas and ignore anything evil you might have seen here. Thank you. It looks like the theme of his park is universal domination and the conquest of alien races. It's more than a theme, it's a reality. He's using them like some kind of living intergalactic gasoline. That's pretty low, even for a sleazeball like Eggman. Some displacement of indigenous aliens and destruction of natural resources may occur. Eggman Enterprise is not responsible. Are you getting any of that? Yeah, they're totally freaked out. It sounds like they're in shock because of public transportation and a loony nurse. Oh no, wait, scratch that. They're in shock because of their planet's strange transformation and having been dragged across the universe. Well, I still can't believe he kidnapped the whole planet. How does somebody do that? They're saying it was either ice cream or a tractor beam. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess it wasn't ice cream shooting out of those generators. If it was, I would get one for back home. Dude, I'd get two. Now, if everyone will excuse me, I'm going to put a stop to these renovations. Mm-mm, ice cream. That kind of makes me hungry a little bit. <laughs> Alright, now we'll go to Axis 5. Yeah. This is the part where the... No, 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 that's not the part. This is the part where you use the yellow blocks again. Yep. Joy. <laughs> Alright. It's quick and easy, I suppose. Just make sure you don't fall, and you'll be alright. It's so easy to do. Hey, boo boo. Hey, bye bye, boo boo. Okay. Ah, oh, oh, oh. It's a very, very short level, so any chances of you doing any mistakes is. well. 7550. And 7525. Anyways, yeah, I did that quick. No, well, it said that there was more ranks of these in the boat. 
Oh well. Come on, get that light. Get that light. Oh, I can't get the light. You're not fast. You are too slow. <laughs> That's what Sonic sounds like. Okay. Now we can go to Act 6. Is this the real writing section? Yeah, there it is. Okay. It's actually kind of a breeze on this part. As long as you don't die, of course, by uh, mishapping this part area and getting bunked in the wall like that. And yeah. So, um, what to talk about? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. How was your New Year's Eve, by the way, people? Yeah, how's your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day? Please a comment down below. And what is your New Year's revolution? I would like to hear in the comments. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of not trying to use the platform and all that much. Thankfully, the Green Wisp allows me to pass them. Thank you, Green Wisp. I am truly grateful. Uh, whoosh. Light speed dash. Um, it's a mess, I'll have to take no problem. And here's the part where you got to get to the goal. And I decided to use Pink Wisp because it's faster. And I messed it up. <laughs> Terribly, because I went uh, wrong. Uh, circle. Okay, let's get you on. <laughs> Before I uh, make a fool out of myself. Maybe I already made a fool of myself. And my throat just kind of hooked in. Alright, and... Oh, wait. I remember. I remember. This is the part where platforming truly is a pain as well, because, well, the fastest way is using home attack on the enemies, and getting on the platforms on, by doing that is actually very quick, but I was being a little bit risky on one part, which you might want to see, thank you for the quest, let's ride, uh, ah, Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of small platform. It's just, it just doesn't make it feel comfortable. I mean, you're forcing Sonic, the fastest character alive, the fastest video game character alive. I don't care about Mario. Yeah, I don't care about Mario being the fastest. Toe Jam. Toe Jam is saying that Mario is the faster than Sonic. I disagree. I somewhat believe it's a different scenario, which I already explained on one of my theories that uh, Mario could be dreaming. But maybe not a perfect term. It seriously has me work. It. But he has some proof on one of his uh, Game Boy games, I believe. Yeah, that is say that Mario is the fastest thing alive. But here's the problem: is it really the truth that Mario is the fastest thing alive, or is it still a dream, or maybe an act, or like a movie, or you know? Like as if, um, you think the actor was uh, the real person, but the actor was just in a shell of acting like um, the character in the movie or TV show or something like that. A past me. I'm really disappointed in past me. Maybe I should have added these out, but uh, what's the point in that? I already got a lot of, um, 
room of uh, conversation, right? Besides, I was. Uh, besides, I'm way too tired to edit or do anything like that. And I managed to pass through this um, very easily. Hopefully. Come on, pass me. You can do it. Right. Left. Mm hmm. Jump! Jump! There we go. Jump! Oh! Seriously. Okay, okay. I... I, I can't stop this. I, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. <sighs> do you think it's much more better idea that I do a narration while I watch myself playing the game? Um... Because I think this is a perfect idea. Besides, I don't want to mess with the audio and all that stuff. Oh boy, past me is really, really make me. No, no, come on, come on. You can do it. Use the force. Use the force. Use the force. No! Took me six minutes. Six minutes. Ugh. I don't like small platforms. I mean, I don't care about platforming you know, as long as it has control with the character that it myself, uh, himself. Sonic, for example. Sonic Generations. Well, is. The greater version of the modern Sonic games after Sonic Colors. And there's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. I know for a fact these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember. All planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you! Eggman! I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens! No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! <sighs> you try to be reasonable... And here is... The boss, Planet Wisp. It's kind of like the same thing as the first boss in Tropical uh, Resort. And uh, what you do here is, like, homing attack on the head, that's simple as that. But with Slippery Platforming, it is going to be a little bit trickier. Also, it shoots laser from it, the... Uh... Okay, I really don't know what those things are. <sighs> yeah, I got killed. That pass. <laughs> Again, I was tired from the overnighter, so I probably should have taken the nap before playing the game. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I really want to get this done and over with. Not saying that this game is bad, or not fun, or anything of that in general. 
it's just when things get tough, you just want things to be done and over with. Okay, got the homing tech down. Alright. Shoot him more lasers! I'm a fine my laser! And, oh, I got it. Alright, homing tech. But you can also use the uh, pink quest to attack. You can also use the pink quest to attack the um, bosses. So. But I never get a chance to do it because, well, the platform in it. Circle of platform. I can't put my foot scene on those orbital um, things. Okay, before I continue any, uh, any further, I have one question. Why is there um? Uh, why is the first boss in uh, the uh, final list? Boss is somewhat similar. Did they decided, oh, we're tired of that platform. Hey, we should do circular platforming so it can be a more of a challenge. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Alright, and yeah, I got I hit it very easily. Huh. Well, uh, yeah, I did use the whip right now. That's basically how you do it. Should say that I said a few times, use the whip if you have to, and well, you're done. Piece of cake. Come on, give me a life. 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 Oh. Oh well. That's it. Sometimes I even impress myself. For a second there, I wasn't sure I was going to pull it off. Well, who am I kidding? We both knew how this would end. Uh, are you talking to the broken robot who can't hear you? Uh, maybe. That's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Absolutely. So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> well, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touche. And that's about it. This is Box Rule Part 5. And we're done with the final list, finally. Uh, question of the day? How's your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day? What's your New Year's Revolution? This is Jermaine from Jump Rock 35. And have a ribbon time.